Hi everyone, welcome to another beauty video. Today I want to share with you an open box slash first impressions on a new beauty box subscription service that I was recently introduced to and that is Beauty Box 5. Right here it comes in a blue little box. Um, if you have been watching my videos for quite some time, you'll know that I am no stranger to beauty boxes. When they first became available in Canada, there was really a lot of hype surrounding them and I was quick to jump on the bandwagon and try a couple of them out. So when I received a press sample for Beauty Box 5, I thought I'd share with you not only what's inside and um, my thoughts on the brand from what I've been able to find and research and also the different types of brands that Beauty Box 5 is working with because I think that's really important. And um, especially if you are looking for a beauty box to try out, which brands that they're partnering up with can really affect kind of your experience with them and what type of samples you receive obviously. So I received just a standard um, press sample box. There wasn't any specifications to like particular products that cater to my taste obviously um, but if you do subscribe to them, I believe you can fill a beauty profile which more or less gives you a more narrowed down uh, specific list to the types of products that you are more interested in and what would suit your taste and your needs so you're not getting things that are all over the place. Now they carry a lot of things, you know, skincare, makeup, hair care, body care, the usual. They're $12 a month and you can do it by auto renewal monthly or I believe you can do maybe half a year or maybe quarterly and then the full year whatever that you wish. Now they are based out of Austin, Texas and um, they come very simply packaged in a little blue box here with a business card that says thank you for your business and everything comes in a little gauze bag right here all inside. Now you receive four to five different products from what I've heard and um, it really depends on sort of the theme maybe of the month or the type of products they throw in here. From a first glance, when I opened it first off, um, it looked like a good selection of different things, although more towards makeup than anything else, at least for this package I have here. So let's just pull something out. Um, first thing in here, and I believe this is the only skincare item actually, is the Jean-Pierre um, exfoliating facial cleansing pads. And this is a package of 16, which is actually a large size 16 pads um it's alcohol free hypoallergenic and ph balance plus it's not tested on animals so i believe this is a cleansing exfoliating pads with micro bees that's what it says um it's not for makeup removal but more for thorough deep cleansing i've heard lots of people talk about these types of exfoliating pads whether they're saturated with chemical exfoliants or they're a physical exfoliant but they sound interesting i've actually never tried anything like the exfoliating pads or anything like that so I'm gonna give this a go and actually any of these products um, if I do happen to like them I'll either um, put it into a blog post up on my blog um, as a flash review or definitely if I like them a lot you'll see them again in a favorites video all right let's move on then oh uh, this is something I recognize this is blink mascara and uh, they are one of the first companies to push out a tubing mascara. You know, the ones that really coat your lashes in a little tube and they're supposed to stay on forever until you slide them off with warm water, all that technology. Um, Blink Mascara was one of the first ones or the first ones that I've heard of that uh, pushed this technology in a mascara. They were on InStyle for ages, and you know, they were in magazines like Cosmopolitan, things like that. I've seen this lots, but I've never had the opportunity to try it. So this is gonna be interesting. Blink Mascara right here, a small sample. Then I was psyched when I saw this first. Um, this is the Model & Co Lip Gloss. Now, maybe it's just me, but I get super thrilled whenever I see a brand that's not usually available here in Canada. We don't get a lot of things, but I've heard about Model & Co for quite a long time from UK beauty bloggers. Maybe they're a European brand or maybe a UK brand. Um, I believe in some places in the US you can get them too, but not that I know of specifically in Canada, so this is thrilling. And um, this is one of their full-size lip gloss, Shine Ultra Lip Gloss in uh, striptease. So as you have already been flashed, here is the little mirror for your convenience. And if you pop this open, 
it is quite a sheer looking gloss. I'll do a swatch for you. Put this on my hand. It is very smooth. This smells like strawberry candy actually. And it has a very natural type of sophisticated shine. It's not super sparkly, although there are bits of golden shimmer in here. It comes off mostly as a sheer wash of color that you can put on its own or over a lipstick, which is probably what I'm going to do with this one. Model and code, this is full size. Then in here is... I recognize this. This is Bodyography Professional Cosmetics Foundation Primer. 15 milliliters of quite a large deluxe sample size, I would say. I recognize this because a couple of um, people who have gone to the eye mask, I believe in LA or New York, something like that, they mentioned the Bodyography priming, priming product, primer, before. So that's how I know them, but um, they haven't been to Vancouver yet, not that I know of, maybe the upcoming eye mats. So this is a foundation primer. And lastly in here, I was surprisingly pleased with this and you'll know why if you um, know me quite well because I am very finicky when it comes to my eyeshadows. A lot of them are nice but they don't always float my boat and get me all hyped up about them. But this one I think deserves, you know, a round of applause because it's very interesting. This is Ofra from the brand Ofra right here and the eyeshadow is called 3D Loose Diamond Eyeshadow in uh, Diamond Glitz. It's a loose eyeshadow pigment, large size, and I have spilled this many times in an attempt to swatch it. So let's see if I can get it right this time. This is a dual chrome eyeshadow which is what caught my attention because I actually don't own any dual chromes. It looks like a brown, but it reflects a type of greeny, turquoisey, olivey color. Good description, right? So it looks like this. And if you put it to the light, it has a different type of sheen. So it's definitely a dual chrome. And I know lots of people like dual chrome shadows. So for that, I think you may find this very interesting. The brand Ofra, they do press shadows. Um, and also these type of loose pigments. This one again is the 3D loose shadow in Diamond Glitz. This is a full size as well from what it looks like. So one, two, three, four, five, five products for this box. You usually get a mix of four to five different products. There were two sam uh, sorry, there were th three samples or deluxe samples and two full size, which sounds pretty good for 12 bucks a month. Um, they do Canada and United States for their business, which is great, Beauty Box 5. And when I was looking online at, you know, researching further into the type of brands that they work with, I was really surprised to find a good mix between drugstore level to niche brands to high-end exclusive um, beauty brands. And for example, H2O Plus, which was so, so exciting to see because they're a skincare brand that's very popular in Hong Kong, that's very popular in Asia altogether. They have a flagship store over here in Vancouver downtown. They also are partnering are partnered up with a makeup geek Marlena. If you watch her, her brand is actually um, partnered with Beauty Box Five. They've also got on their site Demeter fragrances, Cetaphil, one of my favorite drugstore brands, Travelo. I own a couple of those as well. It's a tan hair care, as well as Model and Co that we saw in this box, and also LS Fast, which is so exciting. It's a super sort of luxurious looking niche brand that I've seen both Lisa Eldridge and Pixie Wu use um, their products. So. I'm all good for all these brands. I think that's very exciting and certainly different than a lot of um, other beauty boxes I've encountered before and um, brings something a little bit different to the table. So that's for the box themselves and uh, things inside. Like I said, if I like any of them very much, you'll see them up on my blog again or I will add them into a beauty favorite video and definitely you'll see them um, throughout sort of my videos or my blog posts if I find any of these super good for me. So that's that. I will put links to where you can find out more information and the website for Beauty Box 5. You can follow them on Twitter, Facebook, you know, check out the website, whatever that you feel um, you want to do. And you can actually leave me your favorite beauty box if you do have one and you're loving one right now. I'd love to hear more about that. So until next time, take care. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.